Hello, my fellow MT12 users. I welcome you. Today I want to show you how you can implement an independent trim function if you're using a four-wheel steering setup. With independent trim function, I mean that you can independently trim the front axle steering and the rear axle steering. In this video, or you can see this video here as an addendum to another video we did here on this channel. In that other video, we developed the four-wheel steering, the easy and um, quick setup for a four-wheel steering setup. And here on this video today, I want to show you how you have to modify this setup in order to get this independent trim function. Um, I won't develop this four-wheel steering configuration here again because we already did it in that other video. I will uh, put the link to that video, of course, in the show notes, in the video description below. Um, but of course, I will show you how the uh, four-wheel steering setup currently works and, well, how you have to modify it. So, let's start. Here on Model 10, I have this um, four-wheel steering setup. The four-wheel steering set the setup is uh, in that way that if the SA switch, this is the switch here on the bottom of the uh, steering mount, if the SA switch is in the outward position, then we have front wheel steering only with the steering wheel. But we can control the second steering channel, in my case it is channel 3, with pot S1 here. So pot S1 controls the second steering channel, the rear axle steering, and the steering wheel controls the front axle. If I bring SA in the middle position, then the pot S1 has no function, and the steering controls both channels. This is, for example, four-wheel steering mode. And if I bring the SA switch in the inward position, then again the pot has no function and the steering wheel controls again both channels but this time in the opposite direction so for example crab mode if you like okay so trimming per default the trim switch t1 here controls the trim of the steering channel and this is this also applies here in this uh, uh, configuration so if i push this uh, you see it here on this little arrow. If I push this button, then the arrow moves and you see on channel 1 that we get a trim value. Very well. So currently the SA switch is in outward position, which means the steering channel or the, the steering wheel, the steering input only controls channel 1. So the trim applies only to channel 1. The second uh, steering channel is not affected by T1, the trimming here. If I bring the SA switch in the middle position or in the inward position, it does not matter, um, in, a, in a mode where the steering wheel controls both steering channels, for example, middle position, then if I use the T1 trim switch, you will see I trim both channels the same way, with the same value. Okay, this could be fine for you, but usually you want to decouple the two channels for the trimming. So you can control trimming for the channel 1, for the first steering channel with T1, and the trim for the second steering channel, for example, with T3 here. This is the uh, trim switch here in the front of the steering mount. So, how do we have to do this? Let us go to the model menu, to the model setup, and before we start, please check in the drive modes and under DM0 that under trims you have this configuration 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. This means that all five trim switches work as trim switches. If you set, for example, um, this one here to 3P, then the trim switch with, which is um, associated with this slot here does not work as trim switch anymore, but as a three position switch. So please make sure that you have set this to this configuration, zero, 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 zero. Otherwise, this whole setup won't work. Go, okay, um, one, two, four. So, first of all, let's have a look at the configuration. This is the four-wheel steering setup we did in the other video, 
which, uh, to which I will uh, put the link in the video description. We have in channel 1 the steering channel, per default nothing changed here. In channel 2 we have the throttle channel, uh, throttle input, nothing changed. And for channel 3 we have three mixes. The first mix is the steering channel, has the source, the steering, and has a weight of 100 and is only active if the SA switch is in the middle position, SA minus. This gives us, um, for example, the four wheel steering mode. If I bring the SA switch in the inward position, then we have this SA up. This is the exact same as the first line, the channel 3 first line, but this time with a weight of minus 100. This will simply invert the uh, steering output, if you will. So this, this gives us a uh, crab mode. And if the switch is in the outward position, SA down, then we have the channel 1 input, steering, as, uh, as always, normal. And additionally, we have control with the input S1, this is the pot S1 here on the front, we control the steering, uh, the, the channel 3 with pot S1. So this gives us front wheel steering only and we can control the uh, rear wheel steering with this pot here. This is the configuration which we developed in this other video. So, how do we have to modify this setup in order to get this independent trim function? For this we need two additional inputs. I already created these inputs to, to spare us some time here. The first input I called STR for steering rear and this input has as source steering, the steering input, the physical steering input and very important, the trim is set to T3, the T3 switch here and that's it. And the second additional input I called RSP for rear steering pot has the source S1, this pot here is the source and again as trim T3. So, and now we simply have to use these two new inputs instead of the assigned inputs here for the three channel three mixes. And we have to replace ST, the input ST, with the RSP or STR, STR steering rear, and that's it here, and the same here. STR and here we have to replace the pot S1, the input pot S1 with our RSP input, the rear steer pot input, RSP and that's it. Now this channel 3 mixes don't use the let's say the standard inputs, the standard physical inputs but instead they use the self-created, uh, the custom inputs, if you will, which are bound to the trim switch T3. And now let's see how this works on the monitor. The SA switch is in the outward position, which means we have steering only here, front wheel steering only with the steering wheel, and we can control the rear wheel steering with the pot. Very cool. So, now if I trim steering with T1, then you see, we have an, a deflection here on channel 1 and well this was the exact same as before but now if I use T3, you see this here on this little arrow, um, if I use T3 to trim the channel 3, three you see we have now a separate deflection for channel 3 for the rear steer channel and this trim applies on all modes. If I switch the SA switch in the middle position, then you see we have now four wheel steering mode, but the trim controlled with T3 still applies. I can control now this trim and set it, for example, in this values here. And if I bring the switch in the inward position, which means uh, crap mode, for example, then the value is inverted because we have a weight of minus 100 and 
we have crab mode, but this time with an independent trim controlled with the switch T1, uh, T3, sorry, T3. T1 is the standard trim for the steering channel, for channel 1. And that's it. That's how easy it is to get a separate or uh, independent trim function for the two steering channels on a four-wheel setup. HDX is simply a cool thing, don't you think? Thanks for watching, goodbye, cheers.